really want it. We're not really used to uh... a woman. Guests. We're not used to guests. That's what I was about to say. The movie is best described as an old school Hollywood comic romantic adventure. Any other adjective I can throw into it? <laughs> Epic. It's big. It's it's what Baz kind of calls the feast. It's got a little bit of everything. It's the big heart of the film is the indigenous side of the story with the Aboriginal Australians. And I, I think for Americans that will be uh, something that they can relate to, however, know not much about. And it's a part of our history that has for a long time not really been talked about much in Australia. Now, at university, of course, I, I knew all about it. At high school, I knew nothing. There was a thing called the Stolen Generation where children were taken away from their families. I mean, I had never even heard of it. So, not just up here do I learn stuff, but here I really learned a lot of stuff about my own country. You know, Baz was very open, and will still say to this day that he, he borrows very much from the form, from the structure of many of those epics, Gone with the Wind, Out of Africa, Lawrence of Arabia, um, uh, African Queen. And, and there's something great about those movies, and there is also a kind of structure, a narrative structure that really works. Of course, it's Baz Luhrmann. He's a visionary. There's, there's twist to it. But, yeah, we watch those movies. We would sometimes talk about them. We, we would take aspects of Out of Africa, then aspects of the kind of repartee in African Queen, and we would talk about that and work out where we could plot it. So we weren't sort of hiding from that fact. But then, of course, with anything, you've got to make it your own. Where's Tarek? He was arrested. What? Yes. In the subway. It, it's a human story. I mean, I think it's something that we all have gone through in our lives, you know, getting stuck. You know, this guy seems, uh, he, the degree is, uh, is a little higher, but um, I mean, we all understand that. And um, I think we're all looking for something to, to breathe a little uh, fire in our, in our lives. And um, I think we meet people in this movie you just don't see very often. Uh, in, in American films. You just, you don't see them. I mean, there were three other actors that I was a stranger. I mean, we were strangers and I knew nothing about their culture. I knew nothing about who they were and we spent two weeks in rehearsal and, uh, you know, I learned as much, just like Walter Vale, man. I mean, I was, uh, by the end of the two weeks, I was going to Lebanese restaurants and having a great time. <laughs> but, it, you know, but, but it's a sneaky little movie. Uh, it just kind of snuck out there in a small release and word of mouth kept it going for almost six months in the theater, wow. so, so it, was, it was cool. Pretty much unheard of now. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was never played in more than 270 theaters, but it would, it would hang around places two, three months, so it was cool.